do you think partnerships will increase? Uh, whom should I start with? I'll start with the audience, actually. Do you yes, think partnerships <laughs> in the healthcare between, between different stakeholders in healthcare, uh, whether it's uh, insurance, hospitals, pharma, government, will increase or, in, or decrease in the AC era, the after COVID era? Okay, definitely it will increase. So your comments, my rose, what do you think of partnerships uh, after COVID? This is an optimistic bunch here. Oh, yes. Why the comments here? Really optimistic people. <laughs> good, good. I think, um, I think Khalil, uh, that uh, uh, historically, uh, um, uh, medicine and not just uh, in Egypt but also around the world, uh, healthcare organizations uh, work um, in silos, so they don't uh, work collaboratively very much. On a clinical level, uh, not all um, practitioners are taught to collaborate on certain cases. Um, uh, specialties are very much disease focused, uh, they're not focused on seeing the patient as a whole person, and I think. Um, I definitely believe that the, a huge change will come in, in uh, respect to that uh, sort of uh, status quo. Uh, I think um, the consumer is expecting more, the consumer wants to see more, uh, and I think that will push organizations to move more towards that. Uh, in terms of um, getting better services, uh, getting a better customer experience, and, and two, uh, a customer does not uh, the healthcare segment sector does not fall into different, uh, you know, we, even the way we ask the question. So it's insurance and it's uh, pharma and it's uh, providers and it's uh, outpatient, inpatient, uh, and to the the consumer, someone's who who's just unwell and, and needs. Care. And, and in that case, they all just see the whole bunch as one. And we need to find a way to be able to integrate that sort of customer journey throughout uh, everything. Um, I've had an interesting question uh, come to me from Ahmed uh, Morsi from the Brass Technology before uh, Yara, you had sent a list of questions uh, regarding uh, mergers and acquisitions in the outpatient uh, se sector and why we haven't seen uh, so many of them. Uh, the whole world is moving to a trend to pushing towards outpatient care. Uh, I think uh, before uh, or a few years ago, uh, there weren't many uh, players on the scene that were uh, investable, that were organizations that anyone else could collaborate with. Uh, and I think, um, the three of us are all in <laughs> um, organizations that are trying to change uh, that um, effect in Egypt. Um, so moving from a very fragmented market to something that is more organized, that is able to give a proper customer experience. And I believe that the whole market will move uh, towards a more patient-centric care uh, with that direction with all players. Thank you, Bay. Uh, going to Shokri, uh, what do you think? Yeah. Give us your... Oh. Yeah, we've we've been here uh, and we, we've uh, we've we've uh, pushed our uh, our shareholders to invest in, in in Egypt as a as a as a as a start in the African markets because of that we believe in it strongly. Uh, we believe uh, this not total consolidation but uh, institutionalization of uh, uh, customer centricity to to give better customer centricity. Because the fragmentation, uh, the customer is completely lost in the middle between going to a doctor private clinic, then going to the radiology center, and then coming up with the with the big radiology and going to the to the clinic again, and then now to go to the lab. This this is not customer centric. This is profession centric, and and I think uh, where we come is to uh, as 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 institutions uh, to try to bring uh, a, a very high qualified uh, medical personnel, in my opinion, in our country, to uh, a more uh, seamless approach to the customer centricity in, in serving them. Uh, is uh, the, the customer uh, interest to be safe, uh, worry-free about any disease or a health issue that he can get, will increase this notion of being uh, protected. And being protected will only come not only by having a payer, an insurer that uh, will pay the bills, but to have this integration or what we call in, in AXA the vertical integration with the different between the different provider and uh, the payers, because it will not be a payer centricity, not to be a doctor centricity. The customer will be in the middle and he will dictate what he needs 
what he wants, not push product, but pull product, to, uh, to tell this is what we need, this is the quality we need. The, the notion of quality, hygiene, uh, uh, infection, etc., is much, much, much higher now uh, within three months. And I think this is what would change. Uh, there will not be, uh, if, if the situation ends in a month or two, the, the, the behavioral change will not be drastic, but the notion of these sort of health, better health, uh, better hygiene, better approach, uh, better quality of service to me uh, is increasing. And I think uh, this is where the opportunity lies uh, for institution to try to standardize a high quality of care uh, without being uh, based on uh, emotions or, uh, or uh, high traffic uh, clinic versus low traffic clinic, but no, based on the high quality that serve a client and the client is the king not not the one bedwits actually i always use another another uh, another between say I, I i am responsible for the client side in our organization that client is king uh, and uh, he's uh, how to serve him better whether by removing his financial worry by removing his logistic worry by removing his trust issue uh, towards uh, the the medical personnel all this will require a lot of partnership if i may say a lot of alignment a lot of consolidation and consolidation do not mean uh, m a in my opinion consolidation means mm -hmm. total alignment uh, and a consortium to serve the client no that's uh, that's amazing and as a, as a coffee addict uh, i think if we take an example of buying a cup of coffee compared to getting treatment in healthcare so you imagine you going on uh, asking for coffee not seeing a menu not knowing anything, not knowing the price. And then after you get the coffee, they tell you go and get the milk from another place. And while you're at it, you need to go and get a sugar from a different city, maybe all in all. And uh, But the sugar guy doesn't come to his place except at 2 a.m. in the morning. This fragmentation needs to end, I believe, for a patient's uh, uh, well-being and for being in the business of health and not in the business only of sick care and healthcare, and we need to promote health. So if we don't make it as easy and as enjoyable as an experience of a cup of coffee, then we have a problem.